I'm joined by Edward Headington. Edward Headington is the founder of Headington Media Group. Welcome to the show. Great to be on, Fred. Something I love to talk about. I love to talk about how to get your name out, whether it's a business or whether it's a nonprofit or no, no matter what it is, we're all involved in something that needs to promote itself. Yes. And so uh, you, that's, that's your expertise. Tell us about the first 10 years in business. What's some of the, some of the lessons you've learned? No, thanks for asking. It's, so we turned 10 this summer. Uh, started in Burbank, and it was an idea I kind of had growing up. I was, growing up, I was a kid listening to Tony Robbins tapes, mm -hmm. um, and so I always wanted to start some type of entrepreneurial activity. And about 10 years, uh, I had this idea of a way to give back uh, from what I've learned in school and also uh, being a leader in the community of creating a firm that does projects that serve some type of community benefit. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we started in Burbank. Uh, we're in Granada Hills now and uh, actually doing a lot of work up here in Santa Clarita. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea was to um, do a lot of work around public affairs, around uh, projects that uh, perhaps uh, like on a controversial issue, we've done a lot of different forums, uh, work with some top corporate clients as well as nonprofits. Uh, so it's run the gamut, but uh, I think the, for, for small people that are just starting out mm -hmm. uh, is that, you know, don't give up on that dream. Yeah. Is that, you know, I, I've been able to chase that American dream of owning my own small business. Um, you got to set goals. Mm -hmm. uh, you, sometimes you got to readjust. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Especially the last four years, you've had to really re oh, yeah. readjust. Let's talk about, you run into a challenging situation. Um, uh, crisis management. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about some tips on crisis management mm -hmm. and dealing with a very challenging issue or a public concern. Well, I always joke with clients that the first call if you get arrested is not to your lawyer, it's uh, to your publicist. <laughs> um, but fortunately, I haven't had those uh, those Good. kind of clients. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it really is, is, it, is sometimes it is hard um, when you have an issue uh, before you and you have so many different mediums of communication. Uh, so you can have the best restaurant out there, serve uh, a, a great product, get a lot of people, but you get a couple Yelp reviews and suddenly your sales start to go down. So you have to have a presence in all these areas and monitor them. And you gotta use these new social media tools to really amplify that message so that if you have this concept or philosophy of one message, you look at all the different messengers. And it's not just social media, but your board, your staff, your team, and making sure they've got that elevator speech down and know that this is what we're doing is we're serving a great you know, a great meal or what have you. So you're talking about different medias. I call it different medias. Uh -huh. You've got sure. social media, you've got uh, TV media, you've mm -hmm. got radio media, you've got print advertising, you've got word of mouth, you've mm -hmm. got, uh, you got straight advertising, different media. How, how do you as a company manage all those? I mean, how does somebody get their arms around and where do they start when they come to you and say, geez, where do I start with, with getting the word out of my great restaurant or my great business? Mm -hmm. How do they start? It's, it's sometimes it's challenging and I would try, I try to explain to them, you know, the difference between, a, uh, you know, a leader and a manager and a manager kind of manages the day-to-day -day stuff and manages the team and a lot of us, you know, by, by uh, de facto are our managers. A uh, leader's able to kind of look beyond that. And so uh, what I try to do is still a little bit of philosophy, leadership development, all our projects. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the concepts we've, we've borrowed from a guy named Ron Heifetz, who has a book called Leadership Without Easy Answers, is getting to the balcony. So absolutely stay on the dance floor, get sweaty, have fun, be in the mix. But know that sometimes you've got to get to the balcony and you can mm -hmm. observe the patterns, you can see what's going on. And sometimes as small business owners or entrepreneurs or CEOs, we get so stuck on the dance floor. And sometimes we need someone to say, hey, get some perspective. You know, it's interesting you say that. If you walked into a restaurant and you were <clears throat> owned a restaurant, mm -hmm. you could see the flaws in that restaurant, but you don't see it in your own restaurant. Mm -hmm. Just see. like if you walk in, some people walk in your business, clean this, do that, yeah. repaint. You know, the, the small things of, to make the first yeah. impression. You also believe on being, be bold, be good, and be great. Tell me about that. It's kind of, it, it kind of evolved. Uh, I didn't wake up one day with that, but the whole idea is this concept of, you know, be bold, and uh, that uh, goes back to uh, Machiavelli and the Prince and fortune favors the bold, uh, that sometimes you need to take that, that extra step and be bold and put yourself out there. And you know what? It doesn't always work, right. uh, but sometimes it does. Right. Uh, in terms of do good, that really goes into kind of my own DNA of all the things that we do serve some type of public good. There's a, there's a community benefit. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of companies out there that uh, can do different things, but we're about doing good in the community. Mm -hmm. And then about being great is, is, is serves a twofold purpose. Is one, 
every morning I get up, it reminds me, aspire to greatness. Mm -hmm. Reminds my team, we're in this because we want to do great things. And it tells our clients that, you know, aspire to do things in a different way. Uh, you know, leave mediocrity, so I forget who said it, but leave mediocrity to the lazy. Yeah. You know, aspire to be great. Yeah. Be great, um, play like a champion every day. There's so many, so many things. Yeah. We only have about a minute together, but plans for the future. Uh, well, I think for me is I'm focused on the business. We're turning 10 this year. Um, you know, if there anyone I could model after, be someone like you who does a lot with the Thank veterans you. community, um, serves a small business community, family man. Uh, and after that, that's uh, you know I'm usually tired and ready that's to go right. to bed. Yep, ready to raise your your beautiful family. Yes. So, uh, how can those who want to reach out to you uh, to get advice on public relations get a hold of you? Sure. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, uh, Headington Media. Uh, the website is uh, headingtonmedia.com, and uh, or you can Google uh, Headington Media, where you can find us all over. All right, great. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for Appreciate having me. Appreciate it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, Edward Headington, founder of Headington Media Group. Well, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Out of the Rough. If you'd like to watch it online, go to scvtv.com or fredarnold.com. If you have questions for me or you want to suggest a guest such as Edward, email me, fred at fredarnold.com. Well, I hope this information helps get you out of the rough and into success. Until we talk again, make it a great day. Bye-bye.